Hello, welcome back to Engineering Improvisation. It's been a long time since I put a video out about anything, and definitely a long time since we've gone, had an update about this go-kart we're building. So I said, you know what, I'm, it's, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a, a quick update. Uh, no intros, no editing. This would be a one take, one and done, uh, just because I didn't want to leave people hanging too long. It's been so busy lately that filming or getting work done on any of my projects has been really challenged or a real challenge <clears throat> so let me just kind of get you caught up so if you, uh, if you haven't seen the first video you know go down and check all that out but a quick background we had two broken electric e150 razor scooters and i'm working with my kids to turn them into a fun little go-kart and it's actually coming along pretty well so piggybacking off the last one you can see now two stretched frames have been attached together and as you can imagine lots of measurements and everything to make sure that they aren't tilted make sure that they're parallel and I mean it basically all six axes and everything everything lines up and it does I mean within just a fractions of an inch smaller really than I can accurately measure so it's actually really really good and then uh, trying to make it one of them more comfortable and two Maybe a little quicker. They are there are bigger wheels on here, and trying to adapt the original sprockets onto these wheels was quite a challenge. But I figured it out. Um, now all these wheels going to hold up. Who knows? But you know what? We'll find out. If we break them, we'll do something different. That's what this is all about. Just kind of playing around. And you do see we have the seat mounted. So I'm good. But it's actually still pretty light. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, hard to see with the it being in the shadow with the light behind just washing it out but a welded once we figure out where we wanted everything just welded flat bar and then welded some more flat bar at a vertical angle just to strengthen that up and of course some might say well why don't you just use angle iron well i didn't because that means i would have had to know exactly where those cross pieces are in order to notch out the angle iron this gave me a whole lot more flexibility to make sure I had everything where I wanted it welded in and then go back and reinforce it. That was just a whole lot easier. And obviously there's a whole lot more structure needs to go in here, but this is more than enough to hold everything in place right now. And of course, both the bar here in the front, I'll hold all that. Cut the steering, steering the necks down. And obviously it's gonna be a lot of work figuring out the steering getting that geometry all set up but that is the next step is figuring out where the steering shafts are going to go how it's going to mount how the handlebars are going to work and then how we're going to attach that in order to, and then the front end in order to steer now seeing that there's no suspension there's no articulation that's going to actually make figuring out steering a whole lot easier honestly probably do it like a, a uh, straight axle or solid axle I should say front end and like a big truck it's like my three-quarter ton pickup so you just have your steering steering arm like your uh, pitman arm you have a tie rod that will go from there to the tab steering that and from there you have a track bar goes from one side to the other to steer the other wheel very common is and even in go-karts golf carts I say large trucks they all work that way so that'd be the easiest setup and I'm sure that's what I'll end up doing there and yeah I mean eventually you know new more frame support roll bar all that and figure out motor controller where all the batteries are going to go but there's this definitely a nice pocket back here for more structure for the batteries and yeah everything's actually coming along quite well so there did see a cut there's the uh, this bar that sat over the wheel and that's where the little over fender came came into play obviously that's cut off because it that bigger wheel didn't clear now <clears throat> one thing too i'll be thinking about and i'm kind of getting ahead a little bit on what the plans are because you know it's taken a while to do this video i don't know how long it's going to be before i get to the next one so i'm not sure how far along i'm actually going to be and hey if plans change then at least you know i'll have my thought process and then I'll, I'm sure I'll explain why things changed, but these 24 volt motors, and I've seen lots of videos 
or just a plain old regular scooter, people have put 36, even 48 volts to these motors through a different motor controller, of course. And it's, they've done it successfully. The only thing they, only issues they've had when they get to 48 volts is overheating the motor. Well, I don't think I'm gonna have that issue necessarily because I don't have the battery box. I'm not gonna have this over fender. So this thing's gonna get some pretty good airflow. So I don't, I really don't think I'm gonna have overheating problems with the motor. But again, cross that bridge and get to it. But I think we'll be in good shape. So then I just need to find a, I think I figured it out in sourcing a motor controller that I can do 48 volts and power both, both motors simultaneously and I can have forward, reverse and progressive uh, throttle control and all that kind of stuff. And pretty cheap too, only about 40 or $50. So again, gonna build this with the parts that we can find and go from there. So I know this uh, is pretty much it for where we are and where we're going. And I know that's a quick and dirty video and it's <laughs> kind of how I opened this thing up. Is that just is where we are. So anyway, I hope, I hope this helps. hope you enjoyed it. I have lots of projects coming. Just who knows when I'm going to get a chance to get to them. But you know, life happens and that's just the way it goes. So because you know, hey, I don't. This isn't my job. I have a real job. I have family. This is just something I do for fun. And hey, I bring you along for the ride. Anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, you consider subscribing and keeping an eye on out for the all the other weird and kooky stuff that I do. And you have an awesome day. Bye.